Hello everyone, my name is Michael. I'm here in Sikla Test Mine, and together with me I have my friend Eric. Uh, we are going today to show you a little video in how our customer is using ABC Total, automatic ring drilling, and together with the option breakthrough automatic stop. Eric, how do we start an ABC Total sequence? Yeah, let's head into the cabin. What do we really start with? How can we get the drill plan into our system here? And what kind of way can we use to put the, the, the drill plan into the machine? Yeah, so we can load the drill plan in two ways. The old fashioned way with the USB stick or wireless through the RRA system. But in this case, we, we use the USB, the normal way. Yes. Okay, then I take the USB stick. I put it in the USB like that. And then, of course, I need now to download so we can see the drill plan here. In that case, I go for that manual. It's no. a little special one regarding this, but I need to press load drill plan. What about these two, Eric? Is it two different way or? Yeah, so here we have a folder where you have the rig. So that's data that's stored on the rig. But in this case, we want to have the folder on the USB, so we switch over to this one. Okay, and then we would like to take the drill plan E70. And then now, on the right side here, you have a lot of information, or at least depending on the size and so on, information about the drill plan that we are going to load onto display. Then in this case, I choose OK. Yeah. There is our drill plan. Yeah, so this is the drill plan handling menu. Okay. So in this case, if I would like now to teach in the drill plan, what do I need to do? Yeah, so first of all, you need to start a new record. So you need to switch that, that one to start. Oh, sorry. Start, record start. So now we get a question here, if you want to erase an old record that we had. So in this case, we want to make a new one so we can erase this one. Okay, so then I choose yes. Correct. Okay, now we are in the start environment, so to say. And then we start up the hydraulic system, area guards active. Yes, so we need to reset the area guards. Good. Press again to start. Machine start up. Take a couple of seconds and then the hydraulic pump start. In this case now, you see the blue dotted line is basically spot on to hole number one. Correct. So we can see the field line down here it represents the feeder. And we have a dotted blue line here that represents the drilling direction we are on right now. So correct. We have now started in hole number one. Okay, so I can just press this button here for automatic parallel holding and then see that we are spot on, so to say. Yeah. Oh. In this case now, I would like to, to store that position. Yeah, then we have to press this button here. Yes. So we get a new menu. Okay. Up here we can see hole number one. Correct. There is a little bit of deviation. Yes, from the hole start. Yeah. We can see the planned hole from the drill plan data. 16 meter. The calculated value here is the plan hold with the deviation. Or? No, so that's actually now we are not standing with the drill bit in the planned position. Okay. So now we're actually half a meter away from the planned position. Okay. I think as an example of, of how this is working, we leave it for that. Yep. What about the stingers here? Left and right, front and rear? Yeah, so now we can see that all the stingers, left and right, are ticked in. That means we're going to utilize all four stingers on the feeder. But you can have cases where you have ventilation or something obstructing that we can use a certain stinger. Then we can, for example, tick out the front left one. We're not going to use it for this hole. Because of there is something in, in, the, in the path for the stinger, so to yeah. say. Okay, then we take that one back. What about this? Front out first, rear out first. What's the meaning of that? Yeah, so but depending 
on if you're drilling up and down. You always want to use the stingers that's going to hit the roof first. Okay. And then the last one here, not pressurized, front or rear pressurized. What's the meaning of that? Yeah, so here you can program if you want to have the front or rear constant with hydraulic pressure on. Okay, so in this case now, we assume we are in the correct position. I would like now to store that position. Do I press up here? Yes, store position. Store position. I have a command that is correct. It's a su success. I take OK. Now I would like to go to hole number two. Can I keep this menu or do I need to close it? No, you can still keep this menu if okay. you like. Mm -hmm. Can I? Yes, Good. please. Thank you. In this case, I need, of course, be in positioning mode. Yes. So now we are in position for hole number two. I am, in this case now, all, all the ring is having a good pattern on the roof, so to say. There is no, no boulders or nothing. It means I can keep all this. So what I really do now, I store the position like this. Yes. I make command success, and now I continue to hole number three. Yeah, you repeat this sequence for all the holes you want to drill. Mm -hmm. Hole number five, positioning and ready. Store position. It's okay. And now, when all teaching is okay, I can close this one. Yes. And you so can also yeah, finish the record. So I need to go for record start and need record off. Yes. Now I'm back. I'm standing on hole number five. What I really do right now is I would like to start on hole number one. It means in this case, I take it back to where we started. But in this case now, Eric, I stop a little bit earlier because now it's very important. We have another uh, situation here that we need to explain. We have the, the gear wheels up here. Yeah. Here comes we to a position where there is a lot of different kind of, let's say, uh, what you need to do to set up it correctly. Yeah, so what you open up now is actually the work order for ABC Total. Okay. So you can see on the top one here we have positioning. So that's the first we need to do. We need to position to the hole we want to drill. After that, we anchor with the stingers. Then we proceed with the drilling. So we drill and add on rods until we get to the correct hole depth. After that, we remove the rods. And if we have it programmed to do a bit change, it can do that in between the holes as well. But then, of course, we need to have the option bit changer. Yes. Yes. And then it do, does the anchor return and loops back to the first. So this is basically everything that happened in a certain order when you are using ABC Total. Correct. Okay. So right now I am not going to the correct position to it. So basically I need to choose positioning. Yes. And in this case right now, if I would press start, then the machine automatically will start positioning first and then go anchoring. Correct. Okay. Good. What about this line, start index? Yeah, so we can see now on every hole we got an extra number, so that's our sequence number. So it's now correspond with the, the drill hole names, one to five. Yeah. But for some reason, if maybe the hole number one already been drilled, we need to move to the next hole, but we also need to tell the system that we're going to start on that position. So here we tell it where we start in this sequence order, one to five. Okay, so as you mentioned, if hole number one has been drilled already and I am the operator come from the shift change, then I can go and choose hole number two instead here. So I start in the correct position. Yes. Okay. Good. Anything more to add regarding this right now? No. The no, only thing drill. basically <laughs> right now is to start. Yeah. 
drill, and then it's going to drill all this hole in that sequence from one to five. Yes, and it's gonna use exact movements that we have teached in between every holes. Okay. So that's boom positioning, rotation, feed extension, everything has been recorded and will be done in the same way we have done it. Okay, Eric, now we talk about ABC Total and automatic ring drilling. I would like to also in this case to add the functionality breakthrough automatic stop. How do we set up breakthrough automatic stop in this machine right now? Yes, so we can start to look at the hole for an example. So if you go to the drill plan handling, so here we have marked hole number three. Uh, planned length is 20 meters. Okay, so that is our referring data, so to say. We know that hole number three, 20 meter long. That, that's what we refer this base through, yeah, the breakthrough I'm, automatic stop to. And we can also add on here that we're expecting somewhere at the end of this hole, we will have a breakthrough to the next level. Okay. Then we can go to the settings. So here under the auto menu for the operator, he can add on this functionality down here, breakthrough, auto stop. So what he can do here basically, he can set it off or he can set it on. Yes. Okay. And also in this case now, you see the eye here. It means also we can have some additional information. Yes, so if we press this eye here, we have the text down here we can bring up and we'll get some more in-depth information about this function. Okay, that sounds good. Uh, what about this setting here, 2.0 meter? Yes, so for this example hole we talked about now, 20 meters, that means that at 18 meter drilled length of the hole, we will start to look for breakthrough. Well, basically, so two meters before the, the depth of the hole, then the machine starts to look in, okay, and, and analyze, do we have a breakthrough or not? Exactly. Okay. Is there any more settings that, that can be done in this case? Now we talk about operator level. So operator can do on, off, and set how early before desired depth is going to look for, for a breakthrough. Is there any more settings that can be done? Yeah, so there are some parameters uh, laying under this functionality. Okay, then we look into that parameters. And the parameters we can see here, they are on, on Epiroc. Service level, so this oh. is nothing the, the customer or the operator can, can change. Okay, shortly regarding the settings here, we can start with the last one. That's the same that we saw on the other display. You have, you can set the length before in this menu or in the other. What about the first one here? Yeah, so here we have two different speeds. We have coloring speed and full drilling speed. So this is meter per minute. So during this window, if we reach these speeds, it will detect and break through. So if, if, you, if, you, if we are in coloring position, the last two meters, then the machine check for these numbers. Yes. And then if we are in full drilling, then the machine check for this number. Correct. Yeah. And what about detection time? Yeah, so for how long it should detect before it goes over to this breakthrough automatic stop. Okay, so there is like a, it, it's a limit. It must detect this kind of breakthrough automatic in 0 0.2 seconds before it really get activated. Exactly. Good. To make a short summary of what we have seen in this video, the functionality of ABC Total and also of course with the option Breakthrough Automatic Stop. What kind of customer value can we find into this? Ola, what is the customer value in this case? The customer value of effectiveness. As you know, Mikael, what we see with effectiveness, it's one of the two KPIs that we measure in our global benchmarking. The effectiveness is really about if the machine is in use. Is it drilling during the shift? So to that end, it is really an operator's game. It is a one-man show. Can we use the machine in the correct way so we get the meters done? We see quite often that the machine has short stops. You need to stop for a while to do something. You have perhaps have a little bit of calibration error. Something is happening, so you get perhaps 30 minutes of shift. If, if we could save those 30 minutes per shift, 
at a medium machine that would end up with perhaps 12 to 14 meters of extra drilling every shift. Add that to a full month and all of a sudden we have 300 to 400 meters more of production. That adds up to perhaps 15 meters of a normal drill budget. But the meters are not the only thing. The other side of that coin is the time that you save. All of those meters drill mean that you will be done sooner. So perhaps one or two shifts less that you can use for predictive maintenance, calibration of the machine. And all of this will lead to a positive spiral of improvement. And that is the true customer value of running a highly effective machine underground. Thank <laughs> you.